Um, okay, let's get into it, man. The main card starts off. Did you know you know the reason behind them starting off the main card? Talk to me. Is Trevor Whitman was the he had the main event all oh, three right. of them. It would have been right. he had Rose main event and, co-main. So yeah, three yeah, in a row. So they asked. So I think they did it for Whitman. They were, from what I understand, was what uh, what Brennan was saying was that they were talking about moving him. They moved it down so that they could so that Trevor Whitman could get the other guys all yeah. prepared. Makes sense. Girl, and, and Good job guys. by the UFC to help him out so, with it too. But um, I, I I thought it was actually a very smart move by the UFC. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna tap, pat him on the Come back. On, we I mean, said opening your card with this fight. We said that fight opening the card. With know, this the, fight. All right, I'm just gonna bring it out now at the beginning of it. I said the only way Islam Makhachev gets a title shot over one of these guys if it's a snoozer fight. Islam, love you, dude. You're awesome. You're not gonna get that title. <laughs> oh man, uh, it's true. Come on, man. It's, yeah. I mean, but he he may he may take off until you know February March. I mean, you never know. He may take some time off between you know between now and then probably fight sometime in February or March. So we'll see. I think. Um, but this fight this fight lived up to everything it should have been. I would have loved to have seen uh, rounds uh, four and five. Yeah, but it's a matter of this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it out there. You know, I I was texting with some before, and they you know they were asking for my picks in the fight, so I gave it to them and. And I gave on this one. I said, "Look, I said if you know if Michael Chandler really goes after the wrestling and and dedicates himself to trying to take J- uh, Justin down consistently in the fight, he'll win the fight. Uh, once he gets him down, he'll be able to keep him down and stuff." I said, "If he doesn't and he falls into thinking that he can stand and bang with, you know, Justin, I, I would take Justin." He goes, "No, no, 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 you can't do that. You got to you got to take one." I said, "All right, I'm taking Justin Gaethje because I don't think Michael Chandler will fight smart." And I'm not going to pat myself on the back. Yeah. God damn, he did not fight smart. He was absolutely entertaining. Absolutely, you know, just a, a fucking savage, a warrior going out there. But doing this when you're getting hit, yeah. putting your hands down and letting someone punch at you is not smart fighting. Your fight IQ is not being applied to the, the skill set that you have. Michael's got power, but you could tell in the beginning that look, he was tagging just in the beginning, but he's throwing so hard, putting so much into each punch, each shot, that he started getting gassed just off of the adrenaline also. But you you can't sit there and play another man's game. Justin Gaethje <laughs> is the more consistently good striker if you're gonna look at these two fighters. He's the guy that lives off of the Chuck Liddell style of I'm going to sprawl and brawl. And he brawls and he sucks you into the brawl. He sucks you into his game. I've seen him do it too many times. And congratulations, you sucked Michael Chandler right into the same thing. Great job, Justin. And that is why Justin Gaethje got the win. I There's no doubt in my mind, Chandler won the first round. He hurt Justin in that round. And so when one of the scores was 30-27. I said, that guy didn't see it right. But the, the right score was 29-28. Justin came back and won the second round big. Almost, you know, here we go, talking about, was it a 10-8? No, it wasn't. But it could have been a 10-8-5. You know, it yeah. doesn't reach all the way to 10-8, but it could have been a 10-8-5 if you had that ability to score it. So that, there would have been a difference between <laughs> Michael Chandler. You know, he wins the first round, but it's close. And Justin yeah. fucking easily can you know takes him in the second, but we have an even fight going into the third, and it was Gaethje who fought the right fight in the third round. I, I enjoyed it; it was a blast to watch. But it's frustrating if you know you know the guys, and you're going, you're just not fighting smart, man, and you're not going to last doing what you're doing. Um, look, um, <laughs> how do I? I uh, I, I want to try to find a way of saying it. You, Chandler, you enjoyed the hell Chandler out of didn't it. fight smart. <laughs> no, like, I look. I, I enjoy watching him fight. Yeah. That's the thing. I enjoy watching both these guys fight. Um, I've never, I've never taken anything away from him when it comes to his abilities in the cage, ever, and his no. work ethic, and any of those things. And I, I, I never will because you saw last night. He's yep. a stud, you know, and you got to give him credit. Um, but in one breath, I give him credit for his work ethic and his. And 
in his tenacity and all and those guts. things, his punching power, his ability, his abilities, yep. all those things. And the other, and then in the same breath, I'm going to turn around and say, "You're stupid. You fight. You fight dumb." Yeah. You know, it's like he is so good. If you just fought smart, and we talked to I, I used to get on him in the fighter meetings, even though I didn't like him. I'd say, like, "Are you going to fight smart?" And he's like, oh, "I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to pace myself. I'm going to do this." And and but when he gets in there, he just can't yep. help himself. He just can't help himself. And don't get me wrong, that translates great. Oh, translates to great for the, for the fans. Yeah, for TV and for 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 the fans, it translates perfectly for that. But the problem, even when he got done and he walked out of the cage, he turns to the crowd and goes, "Are you not entertained?" Look, dude, you just lost. Like it comes to the point where you, you got to start figuring out, like, hey, they're not going to keep paying you what you're making. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still battling with this cold. Um, you're you're not going to. They're not going to keep paying you what you're making if you lose. Keep losing. You keep, <laughs> you yeah. keep losing. And so. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And so he's going to have a hard time. Um, I don't know if he signed a four fight deal or a six fight deal or whatever it was, but he's 35, I believe now. 34. You know, he's already had, he's had, a, he's had, he's had a couple really big time battles. Eddie Alvarez battles. Those ones were tough. You know, his, uh, you know, his, his last fight with Oliveira, this fight right now. I mean, he's, he's had some battles. The, the Brent Primus fight, that fight was a, a battle too. The second one. He took some shots. The Will in that Brooks fight. fight. <clears throat> the Will Brooks fights. Those fights as well. So there's a lot. I think that he is. He battles with himself <laughs> on to be to be an entertainer or to get the win. <clears throat> you know, um, he just got to learn. I guess I don't know what to say. At this stage in your career, any chance you had of probably getting back to the title shot is might, might be gone. You know, so, and it's not going to get easier with the younger studs that are coming from the top now. They're going to consider you just a gatekeeper. And this just comes with not, this just comes with the fact that you've lost two in a row. Sure, you lost one for the title, you know, but then you lost to Justin. Justin <clears throat> getting back on the win track. He had a great, he, he, like you said, he got Chandler in to fight his fight. And I just, I, I can't say that I'm surprised. No. That's the thing, is I can't say that I'm surprised at all. But when he started utilizing his wrestling only after he was in trouble is when I realized his explosiveness on the takedowns were, were oh, yeah. done. By there the time, he's, he, had, by the time he, he started trying to wrestle, he'd already had his leg fucking chewed up. And so everything was, yeah. there was, it just wasn't there. You look and you go. There was, yeah, there was you know, nothing there. You got the there. one nice Eyes takedown. You know, the people are going to talk about it was a nice takedown, but, you know, Justin was smart and roll, you know, as he was going being picked up, He's tucking his head and rolling through to try to create the scramble. Nice job by Justin in doing that. That got him out of that position. So Chandler almost knocked himself out on that take. Damn straight. He hit his face on the canvas. He, you know, that was a great job on getting the lift and doing the slam and all that stuff. But when you do that, you've got to make sure that you are controlling yourself. Look at other fighters in the past that have done that with the big slam that actually have knocked themselves out. You know, Gray, exactly, Gray Maynard. That was exactly what I was thinking of. And then uh, Carlos Newton. Matt Lindland. Yeah, that was more to get out. Yeah, Matt Lindland. There's there's five. You have to make sure that even though if you're a talented wrestler, you got to make sure that you're landing properly. Don't always do it to please the crowd. Do it basically to get the fight to the ground. That's the main reason for doing this. I think overall is did he, did the, is he letting the hype of the scene get to him? He's, you know, I mean, let's be real. For however long he was fighting in Bellator, he sure he was the main event. But the way he carried himself in Bellator was like, I'm the man, I'm the man, the man. I think he came to the UFC saying, I need to prove that I'm the man. And in doing that, he stopped caring about winning the fights and just went out there and now he's an entertainer. Do you want to finish your career that way as an entertainer? Just someone that is putting on good fights? Then if that's the case, then go ahead. But to... To sell yourself short because he is a good fighter. He's got all the tools, the wrestling, the ground and pound, the nasty. He's got a great submission game. You know, he's tough to finish. He's never, never been finished, been. I don't think, in a submission. But he is, he's a dog. He's got big power in his hands. He's fallen in love with his powers. He reminds me a little bit now of the Gray Maynard situation where he fell in love with the power. And now he can't seem to utilize he's his almost wrestling. to the point. He's trying to prove how tough he is. It's, this is not about being tough, dude. You don't. You're already in there. No, you're tough. No. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. You're going, you're, you're accepting damage 
that it ultimately is going to take away your career. It's going to take away your ability to, to maintain that career. Don't take that damage if you don't have to. Don't. My dad, his major statement every time I was doing something, he says, don't fight another man's fight, you idiot. Fight yours, right? And it's like, yeah, I'm trying. But, you know, that's, yeah. Yeah. You know, don't play another man's game, man. It's like, God, I, I, it was entertaining. I loved the fight. It was fun to watch. And it was a great performance as far as entertainment-wise by both guys. But the guy that fought his fight was Justin Gaethje. And that's why he walked yeah. away with the win. All right, everyone, go to mybookie.ag, use the promo code WAYNEIN, and you can make bets on every sport there is. Basketball, tennis, soccer, golf, and even during the election time, they had bets on that. They've got different types of bets for all different sports, and including one of our favorite sports that we love to talk about, MMA and also boxing. So make sure you go to mybookie.ag, use the promo code WAYNEIN.